Okay, I think it's time to start. So my name is Jae Bom Jung, and here's so Yan Zhuan, my fellow. And we are working in Wolfram Research in Mathematics Algorithm R&D Department. So today we are going to talk about social network analysis. So here's the outlines of the talk. First, I'm going to explain about data access, how to get the data, and then some of visualizing of social network. And then Jan will give you about the network analysis. So first, to start analyzing something, you need to data. So in Mathematica, there is various way to get the data, the graph. First, you can use import and export function. And in Mathematica, we support many, you know, the common network, known common network, the types, format. Here, for units like graphlet, dot, graphml, g, excel, dmax, graph6, six, path6, six, ladder. For example, this is GML format here. So this is one of the example in Mathematica. So just import it, then it's automatically converted to graph. And also, you can export this graph to whatever format you want in this table. For example, I just show you what you will see in the outside using the export string. So we gonna export it using project format. So this is how you see in if you open that exported file outside. So vertices and edges. And there's other types, like uh, for example, like here, snap. This is a Stanford large network database. And they using their own format. And that is, if you get inside of it, you can see the, the description, how they, how the file looks like. So in that case, in Mathematica, you can easily write the parsing function by yourself. In this case, this format is very simple. So I just import as table. So it's going to be table of numbers. And it containing like two numbers, first vertex, second vertex, which, con which define the edges. So I just gonna mapping undirected edge over the list and you got the graph. So for example, I just import this one and you have this much edges and 4,000 vertices. And you can do some analysis here, degree centrality, vertex list, eigenvector centrality. And here's the, the vertex list, I mean so the name of node. And here's degree centrality, eigenvector centrality, and closes centrality. And another way is using the example data. We, we actually the load on demand extend collection of empirical network in Mathematica. So what it means is if you say here, you can see the list of empirical graph network that's supported by Mathematica. So it's about like a 228 right now, and we gonna keep adding more and more data. So most of data is people using a lot. So we kind of selected the data we want and then put it in. So for example, so each this example data support this property by count, the size of graph and description, edge count, edge property, etc. So for example, I'm gonna load the September 11 terrorist network. So here's the description, terrorist network, blah, blah, linked to the tragic event of September 11. And here, actual graph. So nicely formatted. And you can see the name of terrorist here and relationship. Okay. And another way to get the data is social media data. We have several social media data support, like a Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And here, first, Facebook is users. So at default, if you didn't specify user, it's yourself. So for example, you can learn friend. So you get the list of friend. And then your activity history. And you can also get the nice table instead of just data. Also, you can get the weekly distribution of your activity. It takes some time, yep. And then here's the, the graph friend network. 
And if you do Facebook user property, you can get a list of properties supported by social media data, Facebook. And recently, we add support for page. So not just user this page, like business page or whatever. So let's check the Michael Jackson pen page, which is one of the largest page in Facebook. So here, if you just run the ID, you see the pictures, the profile picture. And then user data of this page, talking about count, knowing how many, how much, how many people like I count, and then po po photos in the page. So, so the many company, the business also support have this page. So, for example, I could share oh, Michael Jackson. Official Ulfram Alpha page. So we see the spiky Ulfram Alpha. And talking about count, 2000. And here's the like count. It seems like uh, people prefer Michael Jackson over Ulfram Alpha. This is sad. And here's the property that's supported by the page ID. And also we have Twitter. The friend of me in Twitter and this giving you who follow you. And also there are other property you can get in using the social media data, Twitter. And if you want to know more about it, just go to documentation, social media data, then there are many example and usage. Also, if you're interested in like, not empirical data, all those things, like uh, the theoretical graph, then you better look at the graph data. It has over like, 7,000 theoretical graph there. OK, then network visualizing. So when you have social network, I mean, some graph, and you compute some property like a uh, vertex degree, edge centrality, those things, and giving you numbers. Sometimes number is good, exact value, but sometimes it's really hard to see what it is. So using some visualization, you can easily see some property on your eyes. For example, here, this is the kind of food social network. The vertices is food and some relationship. But at right, this graph, you cannot see that many. You see the relationship with some nice embedding, but uh, so if you want to just see some food, start from B on the bar and F on the bar, and highlight graph also, you know, accept the pattern. So you can just using this pattern. So you're gonna see two group, and then you also changing vertex shape function of one group, and you're gonna highlight the highlight fade. That means other than these two groups, other le the left over will be just fade. So let's see how, what happens. So this is resulting. Not that complicated command, but you can see the difference. So now we see the two different groups very clearly. So here comes the friend network. Okay. And here's friend network in Facebook. It already very, you know, I like it. In, in the, the vertex size correspond to vertex degree, and color is by group. And then if you really want to see community here, you can just plug in this graph to community graph plot. It will group your network by community. At default, it's just learn find graph communities. But you can specify any community you want at, as the second argument. So here's one group, here's the other group, here's and here's here. OK. Another way to visualizing it, the friend network, you see, let me just run again. And there is fin layout that I wrote. It's not built-in function, but I like this kind of layout. This basically what it does, let me just show you. I just changed the layout here. Okay. So here, I grouped by community. This function, you can see if you download this notebook, you can see the definition of this function actually. It's grouped by community. 
And then inside the community, I sorted using the vertex degree. And then this radius, if we get close, that means it has higher edge centrality, uh, between its centrality in this case. And then another visualization, Mathematica soft many nice the chart or graphics. And I just using pie chart, let me just learn again, to draw this graph. This is just pie chart with some other definitions. So in this case, what I want to see is I want to see vertex degree, compare vertex degree and eigenvector centrality and group them by community. So here for this person, he has this much vertex degree and eigenvector centrality is a little bit, you know, didn't follow vertex degree was strength. So in Mathematica, if you have creativity, you can do whatever you want to see. So just be creative and there are, you, you can write many kind of visualizations. So next will be now real analysis part. So uh, me and John, I want to talk about some um, example about uh, network analysis. So first I want to talk about the uh, example about the centrality. We have about 11 centrality functions, including degree centrality, closeness centrality, and so on. So here, uh, I want to talk about the, um, an, exa an example about the um, Medici, Medici um, family. So the Medici family is one of the uh, 15 ruling families of Florence in 15th century. So at the beginning, the Medici family is not so wealthy, and they um, did not have much um, political influence. However, at the end, uh, they, became, they can uh, control the bank and uh, um, <coughs> occupied a very um, a central position in Florence. So, we so, so the question is, um, why the Medici family is, um, became so important in the history? So to answer this question, we, we will look at the uh, intermarriage network here and uh, uh, use the centrality function to analyze it. So the first centrality function, I want to use it is degree centrality. So the degree centrality is computed the degree of the each vertices. And here, I can see the Medici family. Um, it has um, intermarriage with six other families. So it, has the highest degree centrality. So next, uh, we look at the um, Bettini centrality. The Bettini centrality, we compute the uh, shortest passes. So for each node, we compute the number of shortest passes passed through the uh, node and divided by all the shortest passes in the network. So we get like the, uh, the um, Bettini centrality still the Medici family. So look at the uh, this network. If um, here we delete the Medici family and the whole network will break. So here is the, uh, the closeness centrality. The closeness centrality actually uh, computed the mean distance to all nodes in the network. So it will show um, how the family is close to the other families. So still the Medici family is the biggest one. This is the, um, use the eigenvector centrality. And the eigenvector centrality um, is the weighted sum of the centrality of its, its neighbors. So um, the Medici family, it shows the Medici family uh, has the um, were connected um, to the other families. So here, uh, the, um, so here, um, the, for the uh, other centrality functions, um, 
applied it to this example and uh, highlighted the uh, um, two biggest ones. So we can see all the graphs, this is the Metich family is the, uh, the largest one. So this is explaining the why in the history it is so po important. For the, for the next example, I want to uh, talk about the cohesive group. We have find the click, find the K click, and so on functions. So the example I want to talk about is about uh, the a terrorist network. So in 1998, there was bombing attacks against uh, America <coughs> absence in uh, two countries of East Africa. So uh, the data set was collected uh, after event. So this is uh, actually the communication network. All the people in this network, they are uh, somehow um, involved uh, in the attack. Some is um, preparing the attack, and some is um, doing actually the attack. So without um, very, um, I mean, the, the very other useful information, so we want to ask the two questions. So who is the leader and how I could identify him? Another one is, are there any active subgroups in the network? And uh, how could I recognize them? So to answer the first question, who is the leader? We use the degree centrality. And uh, we compute it. And uh, we can see um, there is two people. One is H, another one is Atash they has the highest degree nine. So actually after investigation, we know the Hage is the leader of the East Africa cell. And the Atash, um, he is also occupied a very important or position in the attack. He is a communication bridge um, among the, the attack cells and the preparing cells. So now we want to know if we can uh, use the, uh, our function to isolate the attack cells. This is the light. Uh, so we use the um, find, find click functions. So what is the click? Click actually is a subgroup of the, um, all the uh, members in, this, in the subgroup is all connected. So we use the find click and uh, find the maximal click and uh, with each, uh, with each click, the number is five. So we find three clicks. So here, um, I isolate uh, three of them. So one is the, um, the red one, another is the um, yellow, and here is another one. So we found that the, um, so for the red one, actually this click is formed uh, I mean the one of the attack cell. And uh, another four person in other, I mean the two clicks, is formed another um, attack cell. So this is mean the find click is, can find uh, uh, very useful information to isolate the um, attack cells. So here I want to talk about the um, associativity mixing. So the value of the associativity coefficient can between the negative one to one. If the value is positive, that means the whole network is assertive. So here are the examples. This is the friendship network at a high school. Um, for the each vertex, we colored by race. So here we have the light uh, red, uh, black one, and the white, and others. So. We want to ask the question, is a high popular student tend to make friends with a high popular student? So after we, um, we um, use the, we use a graph associativity function to compute it, we get the like the, uh, 0 0.4, it's a positive number. That means the high social student make friends to high social students. So either we want to talk about, we want to ask the, if the students in the same race, they tend to make friends down the, uh, so, um, 
So we just uh, put the second parameter raised here, and uh, we get like the 0 0.2. So that means the answer is true. So, so I think it's very general. Since the people, I mean, um, tend to um, make friends with similar to themselves. So uh, I think, um, so uh, if you want to uh, get uh, more information there, so uh, we have the very nice, uh, I mean, the, um, the documentation. So you can go there and just click it. Then you can get, the, um, I mean, the, um, see the, uh, all um, other examples there, and you can get a general idea how the other people to use the social network and the list and see the, all the functions. So you also can go to the graph and networks, graph components, and uh, connectivity, graph measure, and the matrices. Also, we have a very um, nice uh, marketing page. So you can go there and uh, see, um, the, see the uh, more examples. So I think uh, um, finished. Oh, I think, yeah, finished. Thanks. So, um, so uh, can I ask the questions?